In this L2 data mapping video, I'm going to take you through our taxonomy and how you can search it faster using both the individual field search as well as the value search baked into the tool. So this works across any of the databases, voter, constituent, or consumer. And in this case, I'm in the Georgia voter application. I'll go to search fields, and let's start typing in income, I-N-C. And you can see, even as I start typing, these begin to populate. The income branch here is one of the primary income branches that I'm looking at, so I'm going to click on it. And it's going to pop up where you have income and all the different income subcategories that are below. Now, if you're looking for something more specific or you want to try to narrow it down, you can continue to type this in, or you could simply go to the branch you're looking for. From that, I'll open up an estimated income range because that's what I was looking for, and there you go. You found it. And you can use this, again, to search for any of the categories that you might be looking for. It also helps in trying to find something that you think might exist, but you're not entirely sure. I'm going to delete this. And what we're going to do now is take a look at some of the values searches because that can be done as well. Let's say you're looking at something like zip codes. So let's go back up to search fields, and I'll just go to zip here, zip codes. Go down to zip code, and you've got all these different zip codes, but if I type in the value, so like 30002 up here, that's not going to register because that's not a primary branch. However, now under values, it will work. So if I type in, let's say, 310, there is every single zip code, all 82 of them, that has a 310 uh, zip code. Now, if I type in more specifically, let's say 005, and that shows you the 14,588 voters that are in that specific zip code. One of the other features in here as well, and this is especially helpful with looking at municipalities, zip codes, uh, or other fields where you might have multiple selects that you want to make, you can now put in a semicolon and type in 31006. Put in another semicolon, 31007 and it's continually adding those different zip codes. And those are the two ways you have to search both the taxonomy as well as down to the specific values.